Santa Margarita High School, home of the Eagles. The Eagles soared to CIF Southern section and state championships last year. How high will the Eagles fly in 2012? Hello again, everybody. Welcome to OCVarsity.com for our first gridiron show of the 2012 football season. I'm Steve Fryer here with Carlos Arias and Dan Albano. We've been doing this for quite a while. I think our first show, we actually, it was in silent and we had subtitles. That's how long ago it was. The San Margarita Eagles are flying out to Phoenix, going to play Brophy College Prep. Pretty good football team, guys. They're 11-1 last year, like a quarterfinalist in the state uh, playoffs. Dan, what do you think of the Eagles? Are they going to be the same as they were last year? What do you think of them taking this big, long road trip? Oh. You know, they got uh, 15 returning starters on this team. I think they have five Pac-12 uh, Pac uh, yeah. commits. Uh, and Johnny Stanton's committed to Nebraska. They're loaded. I mean, uh, they have more starters back on offense than they do on defense. So I have some questions, but they have some of the best players in, you know, Orange County. There might be the best team in California, and they're taking on maybe the best team in Arizona. For Brophy, this will be their second game, will be the opener for Santa Margarita. But they got so many veterans, I think, you know, Margarita's going to get the victory in this game. So three games in two weeks for Brophy College three, Prep? Yeah, three games in uh, ten days. Oh, my gosh. They don't have rules about that over there in Arizona? Some, you know, there's some, uh, some states that do it this way. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, Colorado River battle right here, uh, Carlos. You know, the battle of Bullhead City or whatever you want to say. Uh, I know you know that area a little bit from your softball ventures out there. What do you think of this matchup, Carlos? Um, I love when, when teams don't duck anybody. And Santa Margarita is not playing any tomato cans. They're, yeah. they're going out there and looking for, they're looking for trouble. And I love that in a team. It's just, you know, it shows you got heart. You exactly. believe in your kids. I love that. So I'm, I'm really liking how they're starting off the season. And for more on Santa Margarita football, we caught up with Coach Harry Welsh and a couple of his players. These silly people are rating us so highly. And I think they want to sell newspapers or have people read their Internet sites. It's totally different. The expectations for these great young men are so unrealistic. Nevertheless, it uh, has been an interesting camp. It's been a very good camp. You know, this year it's a, it's a lot different because we have so much more pressure on us. The rankings are completely different, and, um, you know, we have a target on our backs this year. And, uh, you know, we're excited for it. We're excited for the exposure that we're getting. But, you know, it put, definitely puts our target on our back. I think it's good uh, to know, you know, get some recognition for our hard work. We had a great season last year, obviously. But, you know, it's bad at the same time because you don't want your heads to get too big. And, you know, you never want that. So we're just trying to stay humble and stay focused. Okay, a couple other games we're going to hit pretty quick. A uh, game that I'm going to be at on Thursday covering is uh, Huntington Beach against Old Toro. I like this one a lot. You know, we've kind of got the switcheroo here with Huntington Beach for the Sunset League going over to the Southwest Division. And then uh, we've got El Toro moving over to the South Coast League. And uh, now they're a Pac-5 Division school. Really like this matchup. I like El Toro in this game, fellas. Um, I like that passing game. I always think that if you can throw the ball in high school football, that gives you one heck of an advantage. So I've got E.T. winning this one. Carlos, what do you say? Yeah, you know, uh, Huntington Beach had a great season last yeah. year. Um, Michael Chislock, the quarterback, he's gone. He, yeah. was, he was a stud. That's a big, huge hit. They lost their top three wide receivers. Gone. Yeah. Um, but Eric Lowe, we'll see if he's built in that, you know, uh, community of winning, that tradition, you know, that, you know, Huntington Beach doesn't want to go back to being, you know, yeah. out of the playoff line. So we'll see how they respond, you know, it's, it, we'll see how they do it. I'm thinking El Toro's going to win, though. I just love Connor Manning, Jacob Fernari, Cody White. Yeah. I mean, too many superstars. Right. What do you think, Danny? Yeah, I'm picking El Toro, too. I think uh, I was at Huntington Beach uh, doing the Sunset League preview, and, and, and the Oilers do have that winning attitude now. And, they, and, you know, they beat El Toro last year, and then El Toro won the big uh, winning streak after that. So I think El Toro will be coming for revenge uh, this year. Um, but I think El Toro is going to get a good physical test. That's going to be their biggest challenge this year is uh, playing more physical football in the uh, South Coast League. And I think uh, Huntington Beach has got that Pac-5 mentality, so I think it's going to be a good test for El Toro. Okay, and another game that's coming up, we got Servite at Bishop Almont on Friday. Uh, that's a good old-fashioned uh, Andrews League battle from a long, long time ago. Uh, Servite's got all kinds of good players all over the field, lost a few guys to graduation. Uh, Bishop Almont, uh, Dan, you're a recruiting guy here, so I'm going to you know, drop a couple names on Deonza Blue pretty good uh, running back for them and then they got a defensive back named Darren Andrews who's, who's committed to Duke so Almont's got some football players but I just think that Servite's a little too powerful for Almont. Yeah speaking of recruiting I'm interested to see uh, Neil Pau play yeah. uh, BYU commit as a junior the quarterback we'll see what Servite's got going on at quarterback. Servite's got some new faces this year a um, couple really good running backs Charlie Ediaki, um, 
Uh, Moore is back, so we'll see. how They're going to have a really powerful running game, but they're developing a lot of new stars. They really handled Bishop of Mott last year, beat them 49-14. to I think it's more of the same. I think Servite uh, wins big on the road. Yeah, you know, Servite's going to play a lot of sophomores in this opening game, yeah. too, so that's going to be interesting to see. Carlos, what do you think? Yeah, when you mentioned the name Pau, um, that – makes me start to think I, I mean are we gonna have another butcher on our hands yeah, exactly. you know uh you know there's there's a lot of tradition with the pose at Servite. um it'll be great to see uh, neil turn into a quarterback he's super athletic um gosh i can't wait to see him go man all right so that's what's going on this week in high school football some of the better games of what's going to be a loaded schedule here the weather's hot and the football's getting hotter here at ocvarsia.com we've got you covered